Lowell Arts presents Sierra Sky Baker, March's feature artist, connecting you to the people behind the music. If we're talking like early, early years of my life, the biggest role that music has played is just to expose me to so many different sounds and ways of styles of expression, genres and languages. Mm, I love languages. <laughs> Um, learning them and singing in different languages. But yeah, growing up listening to so many things um, has turned into me continuing to listen to so many things and making it a little difficult to narrow down what my style of songwriting is, honestly. I'd love to do so many different things and collaborate with so many people. I love writing in other languages too so it really has had a big impact on my life and um how how i view the world um and what my goals and dreams are for the future so definitely just how i grew up listening to a lot of different things and i forget the other thing I was gonna say, but yeah, I would that that's my answer. <laughs> so the way that I balance music and other obligations and things in life is just by allowing one thing to bleed into the other and um going with the flow of that. <laughs> and um what I mean by that is school, work, family, friends, uh and music, they all share components of each other. So when I'm with family and friends, going to concerts, jamming out, um, when I've gone to school, studying music therapy, and um, even with work, just finding ways to weave music into my daily life. As long as I'm able to, at the bare minimum, make music for myself as well, it, I, am, I feel much more balanced. Um, and what I mean by that is using music as therapy for me, songwriting ever since I was in high school, using it to process life and put words to feelings and emotions. And um, yeah, it's very therapeutic. <laughs> it's like spontaneously writing poetry and allowing the music to also be an expression. So I always tell people like, try it out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting balancing all of that, but right now, um, I'd like to do more, more music, um, more collaborating, booking, doing shows and recording. So look out for that in the near future. <laughs> what can fans expect from me at a live show? Well... My favorite compliment is when someone says that they cried. So expect to cry. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I I love kind of writing songs that trigger emotion. And I just talked to a fellow musician recently. It's pretty, It's it can be difficult to write songs from a place of authentic joy and happiness because maybe I'm not, that's not maybe the first thing that I'm going to do when I'm, feeling that way is pick up a guitar and write a song usually when I write songs it's when I'm a little bit more melancholy so I'm not saying this to say go to my shows and expect to cry but crying is great to do in a safe space exploring emotions so I know this isn't probably the biggest selling point <laughs> but it's it's just me being honest I would say what I'm most proud of so far in my musical journey is getting through the initial difficulties of learning a new instrument like the guitar, um, sort of more toward the beginning of the, of the journey, and working towards getting to a point where I was comfortable accompanying myself, writing songs, and... Um, doing all of that, all that it's led me to now, not knowing that all these beautiful things would have happened. Um, 
I had no idea where where that journey would take me and still fighting through the calluses and the pain of learning F major chord, you know, um, as a child. And that's hard to do. It's hard to stick with something and to pick up something new and to fight through that initial phase of not sounding very good. <laughs> but it's it's been a beautiful journey and I'm just... I'm not only proud of that initial phase, but I'm just very grateful for all the places and things I've been able to do thus far. Oh yes, the acoustics are sublime when you sing in the shower. This is common knowledge, but what do I sing when I am in the shower? Lately, I've been putting on, um, especially in the mornings, the Katie Malula cover of wonderful life it goes here i go out to see again the sunshine fills my head mm -hmm. then the chorus is it's a wonderful wonderful life no need to laugh or cry it's a wonderful wonderful life and this puts me in a good mood songs like that you know like the song don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright. It's like, sometimes I'm like, really though? But it's just a happy song, you know? Puts you in a good mood. <laughs> Anyways. Somebody can know the night. 
Thank mm -hmm. you.